do you have a 2010 BMW 528i and your halo light is out or some people may call it an angel eyes or some people may call it the parking light if your if yours is out we're going to show you how to change the bulb right here on Astro Auto Repairs This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. Oh, hey guys and girls, I'm Bet from I Seek Out the Truth. Welcome to another episode of Astro Auto Repair. Can you dig it? All right, guys, girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? All right, check it out. Just like Sylvia said, today we got a 2010 BMW 528i. And what we're going to do today is show you how to replace the angel eye, angel eyes, or the halos, or the parking lights, whatever one you want to call it. That's one bulb. Even though both lights light up, that's only one bulb. And we're going to show you the part number. We got it straight from the BMW dealership. So let's get right to it. We'll be right back. All right, guys, to change this bulb inside there, the first thing we got to do is remove our headlight assembly. I don't know why I put my thumbs up yet. It ain't do nothing yet. But anyway, you got four bolts. You got one right here, one right here, and these two are a T30, T30 socket you're going to need. Next is... You want to go over this way? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, you see it. Okay, you get there's a bolt down there. That is a 5 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths, or you can put down an 8 millimeter, or what, you, what we're going to use is a T20 socket. Okay, you got one right there, and you got one right here. Oh, the light's like so bright. Oh. Okay, no, we're good. Got it? Yeah. All right, so here we go. The first, now the two down there, the T20 bolts, do not take those out. Just loosen them up because the headlight got two slots down there, like forks, and they just slide onto the bolts. So what we're going to do here is we got here a T20 socket, quarter inch drive, with a six inch quarter inch drive extension and we're going to add to it a five inch quarter inch drive extension and we're going to reach down there and what we're going to do here is get our cordless drill with a quarter with a quarter inch with our cordless drill with a quarter inch drive extension for sockets and all and that's all we're going to do is loosen that bolt up that's it just loosen the bolt up Take it up, go over here to the next one. Loosen it up. Do not take the bolt out. And then you get a problem with getting stuck up there. All right, the next thing we're gonna do here is switch over to our T30 socket. Got a T30, quarter inch drive, put it up here. And what we're gonna do is remove this Dang it, my socket just rolled off of it. That's some bogus mess, man. Somebody gonna have, this BMW value just jumped up a little bit more. <laughs> Look at my socket, if I can't find it, it's done. All right, we're gonna remove this one. And this one right here. 
Now, I want you to pay attention to these because the one back here is shorter than the one in the front. So you want to make sure you take a notice of that. Let's put these to the side. Now, we are almost there. The next thing you want to do, on this side so you can see that cover. You see this cover right here? To change the bulbs, you got this cover over here and you got one right over here on this side. But what we need to do is take this one off because if you don't take this one off, this thing is going to hang up on this little ball right here and you're going to have a pain. So what you should do is just turn that counterclockwise. Take that cover off, set it to the side. Now manhandle the the manhandle the headlight assembly and just pull. I mean pull really hard. And actually what you're going to do to make it easier, let's see here. Yeah, you take a, a rope or something, put it around here and tie it to the back of a vehicle and take off. It'll take it right out of there with no problem. No effort from you at all. Exactly, because people might take you serious. <laughs> all right, so what you're going to do now you got that off, work your headlight assembly out. Now, you see how our cover was right here? Now, right now, that cover will be hitting up against this bracket. But, being that it's not there, comes right out, just like that. All right, flip it to the side. You got this big plug over here. You got two tabs on each side. And as you can see me push that tab in right there. You want to squeeze those tabs in and unplug it. This way, now you got the assembly out here, now we can work with it. Be right back. Alright guys, we are ready to go. Now this is the part we got our cover off right here. Now to get our bulb, our bulb is right back there. Check that out. There it is right there, inside there. So what we need to do is get this bulb out of the way first. Now what you want to do is take this, turn it counterclockwise, just a little bit. Just like that till it snaps. Pick it up out of the way. Do not touch the filament because if you touch the filament, you're going to burn that bulb out. Maybe not now, but maybe in about a, a day or so. The next thing we're going to do is get this in there. Now, reach in there and turn that. It's going to be very difficult. So, what you want to do is grab you a pair of pliers. Don't, not the little end, but open it up to the big part. And what you want to do is reach in there. You can see in there good. Grab onto the top and slowly twist it counterclockwise. Once you get that twisted counterclockwise, check that out. Look at that bulb. Come right out of there. Bulb come right out of there. Check that out. There we go. Let's go get our new bulb, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Here's our new um, bulb right from the dealership. There's the part number in case you want to know. All right. Let's open this up. They give you a nice little pouch to go with it. You can keep the pouch if you want. You don't have to send it back. And there's our brand new bulb. All right, let's just put this back in there because we don't need that showing right now. All right, let's unplug it. The only thing to do is hold the housing, take the plug, wiggle back and forth, unplug it. It can only go in one way. You see how the dimensions of that? It only goes in one way. So, let's grab our new one. I'll grab, keep it right with the bag and all. Go in there. Push that right in, bam. Now, check this out now. Let me just lean that down, that looks nice. I like that color, man. They should paint a car that color. All right, let's check this out. Check this out, this old one. You see, you got three tabs right here. Notice how this tab is kind of different. It's got like a point to it. This one got a point to it. And this one's like a straight rectangle or triangle, whatever you want to call it. No, I mean, not a triangle, oh, yeah. square, yeah. You notice that. Now what we gotta do is look in there and we gotta look for that part right there, the one that this will fit into. Okay, so let's look in there. Mm, where is the... Can you see in there? You need I see the slot, but I'm not sure which one though. The one. I see a pointy one there. Uh huh. Now, oh, right there. You see it? Yep. Okay, let me point it to them. That one right there, right? Yep. Huh? Yeah. No, it ain't. That's not it? No. I was oh. just joking with you. <laughs> oh. There it is right there. But that doesn't look like it. Oh, because of the other piece. It makes right. it look. So we know it's going to line up right to there. I'm trying to mess with you too. So we need to do, now to put this bulb in here, you got to put this bulb in there and it's got to go up into this 
cavity right here and then back down and we got to make sure that part right there is lined up with that one and it might little, be a little tricky to get it in there and get the harness set in there out of the way and all this and Whatever you do, don't reach in there and touch that bulb. And I'm trying to do this to make sure I don't get in the way of the camera. You know, they could have... This is funny. Well, how come they didn't give you a cover for that bulb? I don't know. Okay, I'm almost there. Got twisted just a little bit just to keep it in place. There we go. Look at that. Now, the only thing I'm gonna do now is take my pliers and carefully turn it clockwise till it locks into place. Not a lot of pressure. That's it. Check that out. We got that in there. Great. The next thing we're gonna do is bring our headlight bulb over here, put that in. Once we get that in, once we get that in, turn it clockwise, just like that, to lock it into place. We are good to go. Let's get this thing over here. And don't put your, we ain't putting our cover back on yet. We need to put this light in. Let's get this over here. Plug our light back up. There, locked into place now oh yeah, yeah while we got it out check it out here's the two screws the t20 screws i was telling you about so that's all we had to do is loosen them up get them up enough because at the bottom of our headlight assembly there's the forks one right there and one right there all right so let's get our light back in here Okay, now we got to do is make sure down there, make sure it's going, that, that going, the slots are going onto those bolts. And once they get on there, that's what we do, just push that back. It's like this is giving me a hard time to go back. Even though it looks like it's in, it's not in yet. Look at this gap back here I got. So we gotta make sure that we get that in there. Slots. You can look down there. Oh, you can see it. Oh, I can see. Can you see it. that? Yeah, I see it. With the camera, you can see it. Yeah. Okay. See, you can see okay. how I gotta go back more, but for some reason, this thing is not letting me go back. There we go. Now it's back there. Look at that. All right. Now what we're gonna do is get our two T30 bolts. Remember the short one goes up here, the long one goes here, and what we're going to do is tighten up the bottom ones first. Oh yeah, dang it, the T20 is the one I dropped. Let me go get me another T20 and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I got me another one right here. Now check this out, you might see this kind of like backyard stuff right here, but this is cool. Sometimes you have the the, uh, the T20 thing and you got a, a quarter inch drive socket get a big piece of a plastic a leaf on the ground even a used piece of toilet paper Come on. it's all good as long as it keeps that bit in there it's all good and we got our 
five inch extension and our six inch extension quarter inch drive and i'm going to yeah no i'm going to use my little quarter inch drive ratchet here and we're going to reach down there and we're going to tighten those up and the reason why i'm using my ratchet because you don't want you don't want to tighten that up too much just till it stops and just a little bit more and we reach over here go down to our other one till it stops a little bit more Last but not least, no, it's not, it's not last actually. Where the heck is my? Get our T30, hook it onto our gun, tighten up the two top ones. All right, now, last but not least, least, get your cover. Just slide your cover down into there, turn it till it lines up, and then turn it clockwise till it stops. Bam, you are done. Let's check out and see how those lights look. Look at that. That looks good. Right from the BMW dealer. Look like little eyes. You gotta check this out at you night. Sound like Howard Cosell at that point. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta check this out at night guys do these like there and with the, the parking light up here that looks cool like little eyes coming down the street you have just saved yourself a bunch of money all right we'll be right back all right so that's how you change the bulb for the halo lights um angel uh halo yeah halo lights or angel lights or parking lights on a 2010 bmw 528i also considered an e60 model so if you guys have any comments or questions, you can post it below in the comment section or you can email Timmy at Tim at AstroAutoRepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.